Attach the charging assembly to the accumulator's gas valve by tightening the swivel nut. During the connection process, keep the gas truck handle in the center position. Tighten the swivel nut with the wrench. And turn the gas truck fully clockwise until the gauge starts showing the pressure changes in the accumulator. The current pressure can then be checked on the gauge. Once pressure is indicated on the gauge, open the bleed valve to relieve pressure inside the accumulator. You may hear the sound of pressure being relieved. Depressurize the accumulator as much as possible. Meanwhile, the gauge continues to indicate the pressure changes. Keep this setup until all trapped air has been completely vented. With a 17mm hex nut wrench, unscrew the gas valve. When removing the valve, be sure to check if there is any remaining gas inside the vessel. If there is still any pressure trapped, you'll hear the hissing sound from the outlet. If so, do not fully remove the valve instantly. Instead, you want to slowly remove the gas valve and bleed off all the gas in the bag. Once the gas has been fully exhausted, then remove the gas valve entirely. After that, replace the sealing washer and the gas valve. Having these components back in place, you want to make sure that the valve is fastened tightly by using the spanner wrench once again. Once that's complete, firmly attach the charging brake to the valve. Note that the gas truck should sit in the center position before tightening the connection and closing the bleed valve. Attach nitrogen hose connection to a nitrogen source, like a nitrogen bottle and allow gas to flow to the accumulator. Be sure to have the flowing slowly happen. Finally, a quick method to remove the valve is to use some soap water. Make sure the soap water is evenly applied to the valve as well as the contact area between the washer and the outlet. Observe if any bubbles appear. If not, you can proceed to check for leaks in the valve and obtain the pressure. 